Too many games or burnout in Little League Baseball seems to be an issue that is becoming more relevant. And one of the reasons this happens is years ago, the Little League or youth baseball season would be three or four months. Now you have travel teams after regular season, all-star teams, tournaments, and you also have four leagues. So the season could really extend to like eight, nine, or 10 months out of the year in some warm weather climates. This is problematic because young kids have what they call as growth platelets, where as they're spurting, they really need recovery time. I sort of recommend that as parents, we diversify into more than one sport. And you'll see that certain colleges now are actually looking at high school players that do play more than one sport. Now this very important video clip to help your baseball season. A lot of you see different stances in the major leagues. You see different levels of where people hold the bat. Some hold it high, some hold it low, some hold it a little bit back, some hold it a little bit forward. So just let me give you a couple tips. If you take the bat and you put it on your shoulder and then just lift the bat up like this, it's like about a 45 degree angle, which is a good place for a kid to learn how to hit. Now usually three things happen with the hands before you hit the ball, and I'll show you those. When you shift the weight back, your hands stay pretty still. They can move a little bit. That's the first thing that happens. They can move a little bit or they actually don't move at all. The second thing that happens is that when a hitter takes his step, the hands by themselves, and I emphasize by themselves, move to launch position. Launch position is where the hands are when your stride is complete. The third thing that happens is the hitter's gonna decide to swing. When the hitter decides to swing, the hands go back and up, just a little bit. It's a short movement back and a quick movement forward. Notice my hands go back and up, then they start down and forward. You don't swing down, you start down, and then a contact, the palm of the right hand should be facing up, the palm of the left hand should be facing down. By getting this palm up a contact, it puts backspin and lifts the ball in the air or hits it hard on the ground. So let me show you that again. Bat here, lift it up here, I shift my weight back, the hands stay pretty still. I step, they move to launch position. Then when I decide to swing, the hands go back and up, they start down and forward, and I make contact. That's the three things that happen with your hands.